Well, here's my new aquaponics setup. So far, all I've got set up is the uh, fish tank portion of it. I don't have the grow bed built yet. But basically, what I have is a 650 gallon waiting pool. I think I spent 40 bucks on it at uh, at uh, Walmart. I built a biofilter out of a 32 gallon Rubbermaid trash can. Skippy filter design. It's got a swirl filter at the bottom. It's got about two feet, two cubic feet of media inside. And I salted it with media from my old system, which is currently running separately, so that the uh, nitrifying bacteria would already be established. And I was absolutely amazed. This system, I set it up on Saturday. Today is Wednesday, and it has totally cycled. My water comes out of the well at four parts per million ammonia, and within three days, the ammonia had dropped to zero, and the, the nitrite spiked at that point. I think they hit a high of two parts per million. And within two days, they had settled down to, to zero as well. So anyhow, here's a other view. This thing is plumbed uh, with a two-inch shower drain in the bottom of the Rubbermaid container. Uh, it's above the water level so that I can access the drain to clean it out if necessary. Got some electrical conduit connectors that are the outlet. And on the inside I have uh, a variety of media, but the primary thing that I used, uh, with the exception of my old media, was a uh, window screen. I bought a 25 foot by 4 foot wide roll of window screen, cut it into 8 to 10 inch strips, tied a series of overhand knots in the strips, and they wound up uh, each one uh, about the size of a kitchen scrubby with probably about the same surface area. And those are all enclosed inside the, the system here. One additional thing that I added, well, you can see the valve up here. I can regulate the flow into the filter. Right now the 1,200-gallon-a-minute uh, pump is running flat out and uh, seems to be doing a good job, so I'm not going to mess with it at this point. One additional thing that you can see here, this little vinyl tube that's leading into the filter. I, uh, I bought an inexpensive uh, air pump, and it's got an air stone on it that I dropped to the bottom of the filter to add oxygen to assist in the growth of the biological media there. Uh, the other thing that I did, I decided rather than set this outside the tank in case there was a catastrophic failure or any leaks, I just set it up on some concrete blocks inside the tank so that anything that leaks out of it will just drip right back into the tank and I shouldn't have any problem. As you can see, the water is exceptionally clear. The brown stuff that you see is just junk that's on the bottom. Uh, <coughs> I purchased 100 tilapia off eBay, uh, blue tilapia from a seller called Pretty Koi Fish. They arrived today. Uh, I was very pleased with the shipment. Uh, they sent me actually 131 tilapia. I did have six DOAs, but I wound up with 125 for the price of 100, and that included free shipping. I'm gonna set my camera into the water. You might be able to see some of these babies. They, they seem to be lurking in the shade, but let's see if we can spot some. I do have, um, I'm feeding my existing system with duckweed and black soldier fly larvae. I bought a couple of these wading pools just to grow the duckweed in. That dingy ice tea color is because I'm using effluent from my soldier fly larva bins to fertilize the duckweed. And this stuff, uh, it'll double its volume about every two to three days. I just feed a couple handfuls a day, but the uh, tilapia seem to like. Eventually, I'm going to use an additional one of these mounted on top of my tank as a grow bed. I know it's not as much surface area as I probably technically should have, 
but my assumption is that the efficiency of this biological filter is going to do a pretty good job in the grow bed. It's not going to need to provide biological activity for ammonia and nitrate removal. It'll just be a matter of uh, the plant sucking out the uh, surplus nitrate. Anyway, that's the system.